Across the river from the bustling college town of Athens, Ohio, lies the Ridges, previously named the Athens Lunatic Asylum. After its closure in 1993, Ohio University acquired the property and have been renovating buildings and land for university useful purposes since. However, for students at Ohio University, the allure of the closed asylum creates a less than legal urge to break into unrenovated buildings on the property. The former hospital's TB ward is the only building that has remained unoccupied since becoming university claimed and has become a hotspot for students looking for the thrill of a scare. But while nearly all OU students know about the TB ward and try to break in at least once before graduation, not as many are aware of the other activities available to students in the community on the property. Fall quarter freshman year and then fall quarter this year, I have broken into the TB ward and a few of the other buildings. I think that it's kind of a rite of passage. It was a lot of fun and I really didn't know what else was up there. I just kind of assumed that there were a lot of old buildings and that most of them weren't inhabited, but I was really surprised at how well kept the grounds are and really how pretty and interesting it is because I did find out after reading more about it that there, the Ridges, like the actual asylum, owned a huge amount of land, including uh, you know, the, the land where the dairy barn is at and other farmland around there and the ridge there, right on the hill by the river. And recently I went up to the uh, to the nature trails and those were really cool. I didn't realize how far back they went and it was really pretty. I really enjoyed myself. I wish more people knew about it because I feel like most people think that you just go up there to break into a building or <laughs> to scare yourself, but it was really peaceful during the day. In 1988, Ohio University acquired approximately 668 acres of state-owned land at the Ridges. Included in these acres is a nature preserve and land lab, and in 2006, with the support of public and private funding, the Ridges Cemetery Nature Walk was created, linking the former hospital's eight cemeteries together. I'm Billy Bracken. I'm a sophomore and a psychology major. I don't know. I come up here pretty often. There's a lot of uh, land to explore, and I don't know. It just goes on for quite a while. It's definitely eerie around here. I mean, there's a lot to explore and people focus on the TB ward uh, and just like breaking in there. But really, they don't. if you come down and just hike along these nature paths, there's so much to explore. I mean, you see deer and other wildlife all the time. And I really like walking around in my toe shoes because I can feel the ground beneath me. Now, I try and make it once or twice a month. The advice I'd give to somebody coming up to hike, um, you should always get the pamphlets they have at the uh, Kennedy Museum so you know exactly where you're going. Probably for the first time, it's not a good idea to go just by yourself in case you get lost. And always bring uh, fluids, stay hydrated. Maybe a granola bar or two. For those not inclined to being outdoors, the Kennedy Art Museum offers many events university run and organized that are free of admission and parking fees. The museum is housed in the former main administration building of the Lunatic Asylum and was opened in 1996 after a two year renovation. My name is Jeff Carr, and I am the registrar preparator up here at the Kennedy Museum. At any one time, there's quite a number of things going on. Let's see, well, some of our spaces are used as sort of meeting, meeting areas for groups, like uh, we have an artist lecture series, uh, which is free and open to the public, several times uh, a quarter, and we are hosting a brown bag lunch series several times a quarter as well. That program is related to what's going on in the galleries. So for instance, right now we're having fa art faculty come in. Any that are interested in doing this, they come in and do a brown bag lunch lecture um, during the quarter. So when the show changes, that programming changes as well. Being in a university museum, um, it's part of our mission to provide um, education opportunities and our exhibitions and programming free of charge to, uh, as part of our mission to make it available to everyone in the area. So we're trying to make it accessible to people not only here on campus but out in the surrounding communities uh, who may not really have a lot of money to spend on entertainment. The university does uh, provide us some operating support every year. And I, I think uh, visitorship is, it, it kind of uh, fluctuates depending on what's going on up here and 
you know what we've got on display and how new it is. I I'd have to say that you know we always encourage more people to come. We we'd like to see the numbers grow. For students looking for an outlet to volunteer or fulfill service requirements, the ridges can serve another helpful purpose. Anyone is allowed to volunteer at the ridges. I like the ridges because of the community up here. I like talking to people. I like figuring out what people are up here to see and helping um, try and get exhibits that maybe they want to see or showing them what will be up here. Um, and I like talking about the ridges, the history. So I like doing service up here more than any place else. My name is Rachel Collins. I am a sophomore here at Ohio University and I am a theater performance major. I really like the Kennedy Art Museum. I thought it was really interesting when I went there. Um, there's a lot of really cool artifacts and things and I didn't realize that there was um, so much up there that there's such like a rich collection up there um, but I was just really disappointed in the fact that it wasn't well advertised um, I feel like a lot of people don't know that there even is a museum up there and um, a lot of people don't know there's events that go on up there I don't even know there's events that go up there there's so much there's so many cool spaces on campus and there's so much to do and there's so many awesome venues that I didn't even realize existed and um, I just kind of find it disappointing that OU doesn't advertise that more. The ridges are part of the university. They're something that um, that they own and you would think that they would tell students about events that are going on there and as a student in the College of Fine Arts I mean I feel blessed because I do get a lot more exposure to art and the opportunities but I just feel like the general population of students here just doesn't know. I don't know if they don't care but they just don't know and you can't you can't go or be exposed to that kind of thing if you're not there. With so many events and opportunities to participate in activities at the Ridges, there is no reason for it to remain an untapped resource. For more information about things going on at the Ridges or the Nature Trails, you can visit the following websites.